There are many dragon images around us, from grand architectural structures to household items and decorations. This is quite understandable as dragons inherently carry many beautiful meanings and have high symbolic significance. The most common in modern life are the dragons of the Vietnamese dynasties, from the Lai dynasty to the Nguyen dynasty. What are the distinctive features of each dynasty's dragon and what do they say about the history of that era? Vietnam Plus presents the three quick steps to identify the five most common dragon symbols in the aforementioned dynasties, with the assistance of association professor Dr. Tran Trong Zhuong and young independent researcher Nguyen Hu. The video utilizes designs by Hu and various other illustrative images. This is the result of reconstruction based on surveys, research from documents, stone sculptures, wood carvings, ancient architecture at historical sites such as pagodas, temples, royal tombs. The Li, Tran, Lesser, Lei Trung Hung, and Nguyen dynasties are notable in Vietnamese history for their distinct artistic styles. They can be differentiated into two types, the Li Tran dragon and the Lei Nguyen dragon, with the main distinction lying in the shape of the nose and head. Li and Tran dragons Overall, the Tran dragon resembles that of the Li period, with a thicker, more robust body due to the preference for tight compositions during the Li period. During the Tran period, artisans had more freedom in crafting dragons, resulting in a relaxed composition. Li dragons were influenced by Buddhism, exhibiting elegance, while Tran dragons portrayed strength inspired by East Asian cultures. Lei and Nguyen dragons from the early Lei, Lei Trung Hung to Nguyen periods, the fundamental features remained unchanged. To distinguish between them, a detailed analysis of features such as fins, and decorative clouds surrounding the dragon's figure is required. In the early Lei dynasty, dragon sculptures were basic, with features resembling lions, including thick lips and tufts of hair. The early Lei dragon was influenced by Confucianism and served as the foundation for the dragon depictions in later periods such as Lei Trung Hung and Nguyen. In the Lei Trung Hung period, clouds and fur tufts became prominent, with clouds eventually resembling blades, covering parts of the dragon, this is due to the turbulent times, with power being decentralized, leading to a strong folkloric portrayal of dragons. They were widely preserved and depicted in the architectural structures of temples and shrines in villages. During the Nguyen dynasty, dragons regained their prominence as the main subject, while mythical beings like the tail and clouds became secondary elements. The horns of Nguyen dragon spread out rather than forming a dense cluster as before. Another characteristic is that Nguyen dragons have curly tail hairs. Despite being standardized in size, they exhibited various folk variations due to the preservation of regional cultural nuances despite the scholarly cultural emphasis by the royal court. In summary, from the Li, Tran to the Lei, Nguyen periods, Vietnamese dragons underwent continuous evolution, reflecting a harmonious blend of indigenous cultural elements and regional influences, creating an iconic symbol that is both majestic and accessible.